What is something that I'm almost always successful at? I'm sorry, I can't, I can't <laughs> think of anything. Is it dinosaur? Excuse me? Excuse me? Is it dinosaur? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to tomorrow's vlog. So today's vlog is going to be interesting because this has been highly requested and I've been avoiding it a little bit because I don't know. I feel like I'll be really sad if neither of them get the right answers. Like, what if I come out of this thinking, wow, nobody really knows me. Nobody really cares about me. Nobody knows my favorite color, my favorite song, my favorite bath bomb from Lush. Like, nobody knows anything about me. And so I have been avoiding it, but today is officially the time. We're gonna be doing the Who Knows Me Better. But first, I'm starting this video with a horror story because we went to Trader Joe's for the first time in months, and that's not the horror story. But what was the horror story was the fact that at checkout, like, Everybody was spaced out, but there was this one girl where she had given something to the cashier and she said, I'm sorry, like, you have to take off your mask and I have to see your face. And I was like, when we check out, I have to take off my mask. And for some reason, that gave me a heavy amount of anxiety. Come to find out, the only reason she had to do that was because she was buying alcohol at Trader Joe's. Uh, and the uh, ID has to match her face and half of her face is covered. So she literally had to take off her mask in the middle of Trader Joe's. This is a really, really, really smooth transition. <laughs> today's sponsor yeah. of the day. And so today's vlog <laughs> is partnered with Wink, which I'm really excited about because First of all, I don't want to be that person at Trader Joe's that has to take off my mask because I'm trying to get a nice bottle of wine. Hey, yo, Trey, can you buy me a bottle of rosé? No. Okay, actually, I got it because I am partnered with Wink. <laughs> wow, that's so late. So the best part about Wink is that right now, I don't think it's necessarily the time that you should be taking off your mask in front of Trader Joe's, in the middle of Trader Joe's, or even going to a liquor store. Wink is amazing because they ship it straight to your door, and it's super beautiful. Chef's Kisses wines because all of their wines are catered towards you. You take a very, very short quiz and none of it's very snobby. Like it's not gonna be like, sniff the wine. Do you smell like an apple oak wood tree with 35 squirrels that just hatched their own <laughs> babies onto it? Do you smell it? Is that, are you getting it that? It's none of that. You answer it and they send you perfectly catered bottles to you and they're super affordable. You can get four bottles just like these specifically catered to you and if you guys use my link, you get $22 off making this entire thing only $39 with free shipping. For four wine? For four wine. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys which each one is in case you guys want the same ones as me. <laughs> this one is a Chardonnay and it's $14, but because of my deal, you guys can get them for each like literally $10 or less. And the best part about this Pacifica one. Pacifica the one? <laughs> <laughs> the best part about this Chardonnay is that they're part of the 1%, which means that they give 1% of all of their profits to a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And it's like a pledge, so it's it's called 1% for the planet, so it's like you put, just give away 1% of all of your profits to save the planet. And surprisingly, 1% sounds like a little, but not a lot of big companies do it, so this one does it. Folly of the Beast, mm -hmm. I've had this one before. California wine, just kisses. This one is called Coco Vero. I have a feeling this one's gonna be my favorite, just because it is, it's what? My favorite color. Let's keep that in mind. <laughs> and then we've got Outer, <gasps> I thought I was gonna say Outer Banks. It's called Outer Sounds. <laughs> and this one is a crisp white wine from New Zealand. Let's start pouring wine because whoever does not know me is going to be wasted tonight. Thank Damn. you, Wink, for sponsoring Damn. today's vlog. <laughs> I don't know why they make such a big ass machine for this. Wow, I smell a maple wood tree. All I smell is this pizza. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 and then they do that. I don't think you're supposed to touch it, but that's okay. It looks pretty, right? It looks like rosé. Wow. wow. This is a champagne so glass that I use for boba. Because <laughs> we haven't had time to go to a store. That's why you need to use Wink. <laughs> Are you okay? You look like you're having a seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. All right, cheers. What are cheers. we cheering for? We're cheering for... Um... To Wink. Oh, yeah, Wink. Mm. I smell a... Uh... Success. <laughs> <laughs> So you have the Chardonnay, you have the Pinot, mm -hmm. I have the New Zealand Outer Sounds white wine. Mm -hmm. Oh my, did you just gargle? I'll, I'll kill, kill you. you. You wanna try the rosé? I'll give everyone a glass yeah, of um, Coco Mera. Yeah. It's a rosé. It is rosé. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh my god, I love this 
one. The Outer Banks is good. Not the Outer Banks. The Outer Side. <laughs> Why did you say that? Let me just display these beautiful bottles right here. I mean, I want this to look like a bar of just the best wine you can get on the market right now. We've got a meat lovers pizza here. So grab it, grab it meat lovers. Mm. Bang bang tang bit. It tastes mm. um... It's good? It's like very different compared to what I normally get. Yeah. It tastes classe. It does actually. I just really... wanted some classe with our rosé. Classe and fancy. Mmm. Mmm. So like how do we do this? You ask a question? Mm-hmm. And then we smack you. <laughs> we smacked you first, we smacked the table. Lightly. This one's super easy. If you don't know this one, then I don't think you'll get any of the rest right. Okay. What is my weird movie habit? Who's first? Ah, uh, shirt. I think it was the work. Who was Let them then go with this one. She gets very anxious. Uh-huh. Stressful. Mm-hmm. If it's too, too mm -hmm. much. Mm-hmm. Too much action, or is it too much... Like mm -hmm. horror, or is mm -hmm. it too much like? Um, okay, go ahead. What was it? What's her habit? No, I think that's his answer. That's my answer. What that is I it? don't like horror or like movies that. Like she gets too oh. anxious because like yeah. No, she always reads the plot before she watch it. Watches it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that. Take a sip. I mean, don't take a big sip because you were partly right. Who reads the movie and then watches it? <laughs> What's the What's point? What's the fun of that? Yeah. I do that when I do like true crime too. I always want to know exactly who passed away and who was the killer, and then I'll go from the beginning again. But, but then, if you, when you find out, you'll be surprised, like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I hate that feeling. I don't mm. like it. You hate what feeling? I feel like I get so into it that I'm like so out of like real world for a while with mm. fictional movies. I don't find that as much with non-fictional because mm. I guess it is real world. So it still is in the same place, but like, it, I Avengers mm. stretches me, stresses me out, stretches me out. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shot. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're, you're, right. you're right about that war. Whenever you make a dirty joke, you take a shot. Oh, I bet. Okay, next one. Okay. That was too easy. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, what? Currently. Keyword. Currently. Okay. What's a food I can eat nonstop? Seaweed soup. Yes! Drink bits. Drink bits. <laughs> I've been obsessed with Myokguk, which is Korean seaweed soup. I don't know why. I used to hate it growing up, never really loved it, was never my favorite soup. Mm -hmm. But these days, after my mom came to visit us during quarantine, chef's kisses. I know this one, by the way. I'm just letting Dan in go. Oh, no. So, no. so humble. <laughs> what superpower would I not want? The fuck? <laughs> Reading other people's mind? Yes. Really? What? Some people think that's like the best thing ever. But I feel like it would just make me like really sad. Because I feel like those can help me not feel certain things. Mm, those true. make me feel very safe. In control? Yeah. yeah you like won't if be I worried. Can, yeah, if I can predict the future, I won't be worried. If I can go into the past and change things so this won't happen, then I won't be worried. Mm, and then yeah. everyone's like, world domination! And I'm like, you know, like just a little less anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> the wine goes well with pizza. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. What do I love to collect? <laughs> Plastic earrings. <laughs> Drink up, boo boo. <laughs> are, you, are, are you serious? Have you seen my <laughs> earrings? Oh yeah. Bro. I don't think anyone else has a plastic clip-on earring collection. It's growing constantly. Every day. You're buying more? All the time. Oh yeah. Which is a good smooth segue into what do I spend the most money on? Makeup? No! Skincare? No. You can't keep going. Sorry. It's Not so the... obvious. How's it obvious? Obvious. I can't believe you guys are getting this question. Yeah. Food? Yes! Uh, I literally spent all of my money on food. True. Drink up. Both of y'all. Why? I got it. Okay, you're fine. Are you tipsy? I'm not tipsy. Yeah. What's my most used facial expression? What face do I make the most? <laughs> Both of you guys say it and I won't tell you who's right. Like shock? <gasps> <laughs> Alright. Damn it! Is it right? Yeah. yeah. But shock is so close. I feel like my face is always in a mix of hee hee and then shocked and then sometimes like a <laughs> <laughs> What's my most used catchphrase? Yes. Bits? Yes. Drink up, boo boo. <laughs> you're too busy eating pizza that you're not smacking your hands. Or you don't even try. <laughs> These are too easy. Bring out the events questions. What's a conspiracy theory that I actually believe in? Alright, I'll take a guess. Yeah. They're listening. That's not a conspiracy theory, that's fact. <laughs> there's two. There's two. One I believe much more than the other, but there's two. 
Um, one of them has to do with technology. Technology? No. Oh, AI? Close. Um, These people simulation. Yes! He always wants to call it stimulation. <laughs> I loosely believe like we could be in a simulation. It's not mm. something I like research or look into or get like really crazy about. It's just like yeah, I could see it. Like, I wouldn't be surprised, like, at the end of all of this. Everyone's like, JK, it's all a simulation. <laughs> okay, what's the second one that I actually believe in more than the fact that we're in a simulation? Allegedly, but I believe it. Uh -huh. <laughs> it has to do with a movie. What genre? Disney. Disney? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Frozen? You what? believe it too? What are you talking you about? It? <laughs> what? I just you guessed it. You believe in the frozen theory? There has been a long-standing rumor for years and years and years and years that Disney, Walt Disney, he had his body frozen, his head too, because he really believed in like chirogonomics or whatever, which is like the act of freezing your body until they have the science to bring you back alive. Right. And that was just a massive rumor. And every time you Google like Disney frozen, it would be Walt Disney's frozen. Walt Disney's frozen body is in the ride carrot the pirate of the Caribbean, mm -hmm. like hidden inside the ride where you can't see it. Like not mm -hmm. as like they just want to fuck with you, but just like mm -hmm. that's where he loved it the most. They didn't like that because Disney is such a family friendly company. Mm -hmm. They didn't love it at all. And any type you anytime you typed in Disney Frozen, it was Walt Disney's Frozen, Walt uh... Disney froze his body. And so they said we're gonna come up with a movie by the name of Frozen. So anytime you search Frozen or Disney Frozen, then the movie... you would never see the results of Walt Disney's frozen body. You believe it. No, but so, that's pretty reasonable. Right? I don't see it as like a creepy thing, like they're hiding something. I see it as like a marketing standpoint. Like I could see them doing that for marketing reasons. Mm -hmm. I don't see it as like a, we need to hide his frozen body because, you know, it's a and I don't know if you guys know this. Do you, you know Mao Zedong, right? Yeah. Mao Zedong? Oh, Mao Zedong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you guys know we keep his body, right? What? What do you mean? His body is preserved in uh, China. In like the Forbidden City and stuff, you can go in there. So Everybody, it's, there? it's like a glass coffin. Yeah. Everybody can see his body laying in there. That's kind of cool. That's creepy. What's my favorite TikTok sound? Crazy stupid dinosaur. What? Stupid it's... dinosaur. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah! I'm classy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. old. She's oh, over that. She's, ah. Oh, yes. I think I know. Yeah. Topper? Come on, Topper. You don't love me. Ah! You don't love me, Topper. You love the idea of me. <laughs> you love being seen with me, but you don't love me. Yeah, that was kind of dirty. That was, yeah. What? Alright, drink. All right. Cheers. Alright, cheers, guys. This is the most crisp rose I've had, so. Soak it in. Who's my favorite TikToker? I don't know their name. The sisters. Yeah. Charlie and Dixie DeBellio! What? I thought it was the dancers. dancers. Oh my god, I love Annalise World! Oh my god, I love her! I love her so much. I Ooh. freaking love her, Annalise. So you just made a mistake, so you gotta drink. Yeah, you gotta drink. <laughs> well, I like Addison, right? <laughs> well, is, you guys are kind of basic. Who's winning right now? <laughs> For sure me. For sure me. Who's no. more drunk? Dan, Dan, look at him. His hair is already pink. <laughs> Grocery stores. Mm. Like empty Starbucks. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Starbucks oh my god. Oh my god, everyone. that makes me so itchy. I freaking hate that. When people literally walk into a grocery store and let's say they brought in I a know. Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts cup of coffee and they finish it, instead of putting it in their cart where they find the next trash can or just taking it back out to their car like a normal human would, they just leave it on a shelf. Okay. I no. know what it is. What is it? People leave their shopping shopping carts everywhere. I'm getting angry right now. Get oh, that's the that? answer? Yeah. Like they don't, after they bring their cart to their car, they don't return <sighs> it back. Dude. And I realized why I'm so irrationally angry about mm -hmm. it because I recently read it's called the shopping cart test which shows you what kind of person in society you are. So they said the shopping cart is a really good way to test someone's value within the society. If you don't put your shopping cart back, nothing terrible happens to you. So you don't have a crazy incentive. It's not like if right. you don't put your car shopping cart back, you're not gonna get arrested, you're not gonna get bullied, you're not gonna like get exposed and like canceled, right? Yeah. It's like no huge incentive. But you also 
don't get anything good from putting your shopping cart back. It's not like just a tradition that people follow because it's like the way it is. It's like you're helping all of mm -hmm. society. Like you put it mm -hmm. back for the workers and for next society visitors because they got a park and it's less dangerous for people. And yeah. so you don't get anything out of it. You also don't get anything bad from it. Mm -hmm. But if you do it, that means you are a valuable person in society. You help make society <laughs> a better society. What's my favorite sauce? Favorite sauce? There's so many favorite sauces. Yes. Ponzu. Mm -hmm. One more. There's three. You right now you love us. Uh, wow. What is it? Mayo. Some kind of wasabi mayo. mayo. Wasabi mayo. What's the third one? I get this. I literally bought it in bulk. I do remember you keep buying something, but I, I I'm I'm blanking out right now. It's the wine. <laughs> yeah, it's the wine. It's um, not that I don't pay attention to you. Give us the color. Red. Oh, spicy ketchup. Yes! Oh, ah, spicy ah! ketchup. <laughs> Here's a bonus question. What sauce do I like to dip my wings in? I know that. Blue cheese. You didn't clap? You didn't clap, bro. Blue cheese. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't live in LA, where else would I live? I two answers. Domestically and internationally. Alright, go then then. You Domest don't know this. Domestically? One. Yes. She wants to live in um Florida. What? Just kidding. New, <laughs> New, New York. Yeah. <laughs> and then Internationally, yeah. she wants to live in Switzerland? No. Just kidding. She, <laughs> wants, to, she wants to live in Japan. No. Fuck. Yeah, be closer, closer. Like yeah, sitting, Canada. sitting, Canada. sitting with us. Sitting. Oh, China? Yes. <laughs> oh, China? Oh, really? Yes. So this is weird because I feel like I would never want to like live there permanently. Uh -huh. I have really random moments where I want to live in Texas and Florida for tax reasons and that blows over <laughs> really quick. <laughs> but like I feel like New York is like one of those places where I feel like it'd be really nice to say that like, I've lived and experienced and really lived there at least one point in my life. And then I want to try living in China. Mm -hmm. I think China's cool. <laughs> is that a controversial <laughs> Because every time I tell her stories, yeah. I made no. it so amazing. That Shanghai that you showed me? Yeah, the Shanghai that was, me. <laughs> that was. What is a show I've watched more than three times? There's actually two shows. Prison Break. No. Wrong. Start with the P. First word is pretty. Pretty Little Liars. Yes! Second one starts with G. Wait, what? G R E. Grey Anatomy! Wow. Grey Anatomy! Okay, there's another one then. There's another one? Yeah, I've watched Grey's Anatomy so many times, but I haven't watched the recent season. There's another there's one? There's one more. Modern Family. Okay, there's one more actually. Oh my god, <laughs> how many do you have? <laughs> okay, Sorry, I don't good. know that. Sex and the City. Oh. Okay, that's like, it's too old. <laughs> <laughs> Came out first grade. What is something that I'm almost always successful at? <laughs> what? Storytelling. No. Oh. No. You're getting red. Recent mm. days I've been bragging about it a lot. Bragging mm -hmm. about something a lot? I'm sorry, I can't, I can't <laughs> think of any. Drinking my daily intake of water. I'm like oh, yeah, that's pretty, almost yeah, you're being always successful. Good. I should be drinking about 60 to 90 ounces of water every day. I drink about like 200 ounces of water the past couple days. But don't drink too much, guys, because you will get, um, you will drown. <laughs> what? what is something I used to do to my face that I really regret? Long ass fake lashes. Oh god, I hate that! I hate that so much, but no, that's not it. Shaving your sideburns. Yes! I used to shave the sideburns here because people said it was so masculine. What? And like, mm -hmm. dudes would make fun of me because they'd be like, oh my god, you have sideburns like a dude. People so, make fun yeah. of you? Yeah, and Are so you I used serious? to shave it. And like then in I, school? Yes. What is the luckiest thing that has happened to me in recent years? Like, think four years ago. I mean, this one's really specific. I don't think anyone's gonna get it. Oh, we were traveling with um, uh -huh. a mango, a tiger, mm -hmm. at the airport. Mm -hmm. And then we got out of the airport. I think it was tiger. I thought they wanted to pee in a corner. <laughs> and tiger walked, walked, walked. And then he sniffed. <laughs> and I walked over. It was a $20 bill. <laughs> That's yeah, a that money sniffing really dog right there. That's a truffle pig. That's four coffee right there. <laughs> No, it's not. Um, like four years ago, I went to one of your work holiday thingies. It was like super <laughs> She won the prize. I won the prize. Yeah. I won a hundred dollar gift card.
card to Larry's Prime Rib Steakhouse. Then a bunch of other things. And like a bunch of like like a big goodie bag of like fancy chocolate. And then we went and then we we're like, this ain't that good. <laughs> what is my favorite hobby that I never get to do? Yeah. Am I drunk because I don't know the answer? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is my yeah. favorite hobby that I never get to do? And let's just drink. Oh my god, let's just drink to that one. Maybe it's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> You guys think of your best answer when I think about what I actually answer is. I don't know, tennis? Nah, hell nah. Alright, you drink. Like, that's, yeah, this, that's, that's on so you. Hard. This is on you. Okay, what would get me the most tickets at an arcade? If I go to Dave and Buster's and I'm just thinking about, okay, I want the most tickets. There's something at the ticket booth that I want and I need to get as most tickets as I could possibly get. I know this can. one. There's like this like bowling thing. <laughs> Oh my god, I know that! Circles? Yeah. Yes! I love that. She's like glued to that machine. You don't even get that much ticket, bro. That machine. I think it's so annoying. He's like, this is an old lady machine. And it really is because it's like me and all the moms playing. Is your hobby bowling? Oh yes! 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 That's so my god, that's what I get! Nobody wants to go bowling. Are we on? It's like the most so basic, boring high school activity you yeah. could do. I think it's so oh. fun. <laughs> I think bowling's only bowling's only fun a while. when you're 16 and you go with your crush. <laughs> like, <laughs> you just hit like three pins. <laughs> Good job. I think bowling is so fun. <laughs> Am I freeze flight or fight in a crisis situation? Do I freeze? Do I run away or do I fight? You f uh, you f fight. He's like, you fart. <laughs> <laughs> you fight. You fight. You think so? Bro, I think so. I think so. I thought I was always freeze. No. no. You fight. See the other fighter? <laughs> Thanks a lot. That was my last question. Oh, really? So who won? I won, duh. What the heck? Why do I feel like I'm the most drunk, though? <laughs> <laughs> it seems that. Both of you guys know me pretty decently. I would say so, yeah. Yeah. Pretty proud of you guys. Thank you. This is the perfect time to take a bath with this. Ooh, a bath bomb and a wink from me to you in the description. <laughs> Cheers, mom, for the money. What? You don't know that TikTok sound? Cheers, mate, my Friday afternoon snack. Cheers, mom, for the money. What? <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Alert, alert. I just realized something that it's actually a better deal than I thought because they're right now they're doing 40% off of four wine bottles, which makes it $39 for four delicious bottles. Cheers, mate. Just click the link in my description. Uh